Alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are actually going to do a real video between the Hilti and the Makita 12 volt screwdrivers. Now I did do this live with my wife, which I thank her so much for doing that. But I do want to do a real video because during live you can't really put a timer in there and see what the actual real difference is. When it, go, when it comes to going live, it's just fun to do. People love to watch it. So, But uh, after the live video, I actually need to make a real video and see what the difference is between these two. Now, this is my favorite type of tool. All right, so, but I want to do this versus video, and I think it's going to be fun. So let's go over the specs really quick and see what these actually can do against each other. Uh, first, the Milwaukee. This is a 12 volt screwdriver, quarter inch hex collet. It is not an impact driver. It's just don't flare up the comments. This is the impact driver. All right, do not. So this is a screwdriver. All right, so this model number is DF032D. 12 volt system, two speed settings. First speed is zero to 450 RPM and on speed two, zero to, zero to 1500 RPM. All right, this has a 20 point clutch plus one, which the plus one is drill. Quarter inch six collet, single LED light on the bottom, does have a belt clip on the side. You could put it at either side. We will be using a four amp hour battery. The battery is full. So I love these types of tools. All right, but my favorite tool that I own is this specific one. All right, this is a uh, Hilti, model number is SFD2A12. And this is brushless. It is brushless, and so is the Hilti. Hilti's brushless as well. Quarter inch hex collet. The specs are on the bottom. All right, so uh, this is, all right, so on speed one, two speed settings. Speed one goes to zero to 400 RPM and on speed two, zero, zero to 1600 RPM, which that is actually 100 RPM more than the Makita. All right, we will be using a four amp hour battery. The battery is full. I do not know what the torque is for these. I'll put them, you already saw the Makita, I'll put the Hilti in right now. This has a tool 15 point clutch plus one, which the plus one is just regular drill. Speed one and speed two. And two LED, two LED lights on the base. But let's see what these could actually do against each other. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. Alrighty, we will do the Makita first. Like I said, the battery is full. We'll just, oh, we'll do one more check at the end of the video. We are gonna have, just have it on drill the entire time. We're gonna try it on speed two. Let's see if this is capable of driving it on speed two. Right here is good. That's much better. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Oh, I cut out. All right, so this cannot do it on speed two. Let's take it, let's, uh, but I do want to pull the trigger a few more times. It failed the test, but I want to pull the trigger to see if it can. Continue. Nope, it can't. This is gonna take it out. Yes, it can. All right, so that failed to put it on speed two. Let's see if the Hilti could fail. Oh, put it on, on speed two. Speed two, battery is full. Right here is good. So, ready, go. Nope, it cannot, it failed as well. Can I take it out? Yes, it can. All right, so both of these require speed one. Is the collet pushing? It is not. The collet is not pushing. All right, speed one. Let's continue this. All right, so ready? Go. Time. All right, so let's do the Hilti on speed one. Right here is good. All right, so am I focused in? All right, so ready, go. Time. It did it. It did it. Let's have Makita take it out. Now remember, these are only screwdrivers. These aren't supposed to be 
very powerful at all. So it's just, it's amazing that these can do it. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so let's have Hilti take its out. All right, so ready, go. Wow. Time. These little tools have some torque. All right, so next let's actually switch over to some uh, eighth inch lags. Of course, none of the others are missing. Alrighty, so we're gonna do one uh, lag each, eighth inch by six inch lag. Do it right here. Little balancing act. Alright, so we already proven that they can't do it on speed two, so let's continue on speed one. Alright, so ready? Go. You can do it. You can do it. Time. That little guy has some torque. It's for this isn't that big of a deal. Wow. Good job, Bikita. Seriously, I love these tools. I love these tools. You gotta admit, that's pretty powerful for a screw a 12 volt screwdriver. Alright, right here is good. Little balancing act. Alright, so ready? Go. Time. Time, time, time. All right, let's have Makita take it out. Then after we take these out, we're gonna switch over to the log and do some bigger screws. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's take this out. All right, ready, go. Time, oh, nope, not yet, not done yet. Got it. time. All righty, so what we are gonna do is we have a couple of timber locks here. We're gonna do three each. We're gonna do one individually, then we are gonna do two together. On speed, let's see if we can do it on speed two. If not, then we'll just take it out. All right, ready? Go. You can do it. Time. It can. So can Hilti do it on speed two? Let's find out. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Oh. It stopped. It failed the test, so let's see if it can con continue. Yes, it can. But the Hilti failed that test because it stopped. All right, so let's take them out. Ready? Go. Time. Let's take this one out. All right, so ready? Go. Up, hut. What's that? One more, one more attempt. All right. Up. Time. Hilti failed that test too. Wow. So Makita is taking the cake when it comes to uh, the the log. All right. So we're gonna do two in a row. Let's do one right here. Uh, no, we'll do it a little bit closer. Right here is good. All right, we're gonna get two in a row, add it to one timer. All right, speed two, ready, go. Good job, Makita. Can it do one more on speed two? All right, so ready? Go. 
Good job. All right, let's do the. Let's do the Hilti. The kid is winning, I think. I don't know what the test results are until I edit the video, but based on this, Makita is winning. All right, so ready? Go. You can do it. Oh, why are you cutting out right? Th I think it's a, it's got to be the safety thing because it has the plenty of power to do it. It's just cutting off for some reason. But it failed. It failed. Let's see if we can re let's see if we do... See if we could do one, at least one without stopping. All right, so ready? Go. Nope. It's stopping at the almost at the exact same depth, too. At the exact same depth. It's able to continue it, but it is stopping, so Hilti failed that test. All right, let's do one more each on speed one. Let's see what speed one does. Good job, Makita. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Let's do one for a Hilti. Do it right on the same ring, which is right here, next to its own screws. All right, so ready? Go. Time. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to take all three screws out at once on speed two. So... We'll see if any, if any of them fail. All right, so ready? Go. That's one. Continue. Up. There we go. All right. Oh. There we go. All right, so Makita failed one. All right, ready? Go. Aw. Oh. All right, so Makita failed two of them. That is interesting. All right, let's see how many Hilti fail. Up, speed two. All right, ready? Go. All right, it failed that one, but Makita failed it, but it was able to take it out. It did. All right, next one. Oh. It will take one out. It will take two out. All right, come on. now if if uh, Hilti is unable to take this out, period, it fa it failed. There we go. All right, so both of them failed taking it out. Both of them failed take it taking it out. Okay, so in my opinion, both of these did extremely well. I love twelve volt screwdrivers. I, I do not know why, but I love this style of a drill. I do believe that the Makita won, but I don't know until I edit the video. And so, yeah, but like, if I seriously recommend you guys get one of these, doesn't have to be Makita or Hilti. DeWalt makes one, Bosch makes one, Milwaukee makes one, and a few others make one. So, like, I, if for around the house, this is what I'd get. Like, this, they're very lightweight, compact, feel good in the hand, and they're, you know, you could easily put it in on your, in your pocket. <laughs> if you're up on a ladder to do something minor. So that's pretty much it. I just want to do this versus video because like I said, we did this live. So, All right, so I just want to see these two go at it and see which one actually prevailed. In my opinion, I think the Makita uh, prevailed. Uh, which one do I recommend? 
I still recommend the Hilti because it'll still do the job. You know, like I love this. I love the design. It's a very powerful. I love the way it looks. Feels good in my, in, the, in my hands. It does feel better than the Makita does because of the big battery that they have. I also like that the Hilti batteries are pretty much rubber molded, you know, in most of the spots. So it'll keep your finished surface from getting scratched up. All right, so that's pretty much it. If you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.